2D fighters are one of the most common fighting games in our culture now. As we knew from the beginning, 2D fighting games stayed with us throughout, they created, and they innovated. Now I'm going to teach you guys how to play 2D fighters well for the rise of the FGC. It's good to know the genres of 2D fighters such as uh, air dashers like Marvel vs. Capcom, anime fighters like Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue, and much, much more. There's even some weird mixes like Super Gem Fighter Mini Mix, where it's a fun, cute spin on 2D fighters, but it still takes some fundamentals and learning. Every fighting game's control layout is very different. You would have fighting games such as uh, Street Fighter, where there's six buttons. There's light punch, medium punch, heavy punch, light kick, medium kick, heavy kick. You have games like King of Fighters, where you have light punch, light kick, heavy punch, and heavy kick. And then you have other games like Marvel vs. Capcom, where you have the same light punch, light kick, heavy punch, heavy kick in Marvel 2 specifically, but then your two other buttons are resonated towards your assist. And you can also mix buttons together to get like your assist to come in, or to even switch out. Games like Blaze Blue and Guilty Gear, the anime series games, have air dashing, uh, slash, heavy slash, dust, special buttons, and all of that. Now there is something that is in Marvel vs. Capcom, that was introduced to Marvel vs. Capcom that are in anime fighters called Magic Series, where you can start from light and work your way up to heavy, and essentially press the strong weakest to strongest moves, and it'll all combo. But in a game like Street Fighter or King of Fighters, there's stuff like combo links. Like for example, if you medium kick, you can cancel your medium kick into another move. Now getting into these moves, we have moves like input moves, charge moves and a mixture of the two. Now in 2D Fighters that should be a reoccurring theme as the basis for a character. Input moves are moves where it's like quarter circle forward punch for Hadouken, or, and charge moves are for moves like you hold back for two seconds, or down for two seconds, and then do the corresponding input. Every character has a different move list, but each character will consist of these two charge, or input. It's either or. This can also change the playstyle of the character because the charge characters will be more defensive than the input characters. And in some cases the charge characters will have higher HP and better normals than the input characters. So it's very important that you make this distinction right now. Another thing about 2D fighters, 2D fighters spacing is very 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 prevalent as you have to work with the stage and you can be put in the corner. However there are some stages like in Street Fighter EX that move on for infinite uh, space. But it's very important that you control space with your normals and you have your anti-airs. Each normal you have can function as uh, anti-air or a poking normal. It's up to you to figure out which one does what, which one is safe and which one is not safe. This could be the make or break between life and death in a 2D battle. One final point of contention is very important that you also study your characters, you practice your inputs, you practice your links, and nothing is fairly cheap in a 2D fighter to an extent, unless it's banned by the competitive community, and it's very important to keep a headstrong nature, practice your character, and develop the skills you need to become one of the best.